Welcome back, everybody. This week in America, thank you for sharing some time with us on the program today. In a powerful memoir, Falling to Pieces, Carol Cousins de Reyes shares her story of hope and courage as a survivor of trauma, mental illness, human trafficking, and suicidal thoughts. A first-hand account of what it's like to have a mental health condition that includes depression, bipolar disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. She's honest and real about her journey. A story of triumph as Carol finds not only her own sense of peace, but joins with national leaders to create innovative roads to wellness. She started her own nonprofit, Mission Zero, aimed at reducing suicide to zero in Georgia's children. Carol is a certified peer supporter and specialist in the state of Georgia. Currently, Georgia Crisis and Access Line Peer Support Services Administrator, former Director of Consumer Relations and Recovery for the state of Georgia, Department of Mental Health, a member of the National Survivor Network of Human Trafficking Survivors, and a bachelor's and master's degree in psychology. The author of Falling to Pieces, Carol Cousins de Reyes, our guest on This Week in America. Carol, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you. That was a wonderful introduction. You did your homework. Well, yes, and read the book and so many things to talk about. If you've got four or five hours, we should be able to do a nice job of covering (laughs) everything in the book. Uh, We will condense it and then encourage people to pick up a copy of the book. And let's talk about your decision to to write the book. It wasn't just writing a book. It was total honesty. And that's why I think the book has been so effective because you can, uh, people who are going through what you went through can relate because of that honesty. How difficult was it for you to make the decision to write this book to help others? I was driven to write it. It started in trying to um, chronicle what seemed like a great conspiracy in my life that I couldn't um, find any place to put down. Like I could remember it in incredible detail and I just found myself writing about it and as I wrote, I found myself finding jumps in thought and exploring more. So it, it, it started with, I had to. With us on the program is Carol Cousins de Reyes. She's the author of Falling to Pieces. That's P-E-A-C-E-S. Books available at Amazon. If you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, you can link on directly to the Amazon link for Carol's book. You talk in the book about the book was written at times when you could barely utter a sentence because you were so depressed. Talk about this because writing the book, the process, it was a long process, obviously, in writing. This was not easy for you, was it? No, it it wasn't an easy process. Um, You know, the um, periods that I describe are, um, you know... It also involves um, a lot of deliberate thought about how to um, to write down. You know, sometimes you're driven to write because no one understands, and that's kind of what drove me to, to write down those things that I, I have in the book. And um, it's a way of communicating and uh, feeling connected to other people. You know, what's interesting, and you mentioned this in the book, and I didn't really think about it until I read it and then giving it some thought. It seems to be very true. For many years, researchers, doctors really taught most of us what we know about mental health. It's sort of unique, isn't it, when we're hearing a voice, an individual who went through what what you did. Again, that goes back to the, the relatability of this book. Um, could you repeat what you're asking? Well, yeah, the fact that now we're hearing from a, from a victim, a survivor, someone who's actually been through this, as opposed to just mental health professionals telling about it. Is that why oh. this why this book you think has been so effective? Because we're actually hearing from someone. It's not theory. It's it, it was your life. Yes, I, I mean it, it was important for me, and I found the experience important for others because of that. Um, you can read about symptoms all day long in a textbook, but until you experience them, they don't become a human experience. And it's so different to have a human experience than a textbook account of, of a diagnosis. 
This is a revised edition. You went back in and you added some chapters. Talk about that. In fact, I think you said this is sort of a, a more comprehensive uh, picture of what you went through. Talk about the, the new chapters and why you felt those were important. Well, I didn't discuss much of the trauma that I experienced. And I also have had experience with suicide and or suicidal feelings. And I've become involved in suicide prevention and have more language for those feelings. And I just had so much to share with trauma and suicide prevention that I um, felt like without that, it wouldn't be a complete work. Talk about the the beginning, where this all started for you when you realized that, that you were having some, some mental health difficulty. Well, you know, I probably struggled as a child, and, um, you know, I can remember crying myself to sleep at night in um, elementary school, and I can remember going to school without bathing, not because, you know, that wasn't available, because it just did not seem appealing, and um, the, the trauma that I experienced as a child as well as, um, you know, being driven by the experience of my first hospitalization after, you know, the trauma that was built up to the experiences of bipolar disorder, PTSD, and depression. Um, And I think for many people, there is trauma underneath what they experience. With us on the program, Carol Cousins de Reyes, Her book is Falling to Pieces, P-E-A-C-E-S. The book is available at at Amazon. Again, you can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You go into great detail, living with a mental health issue, and you you talk about that journey towards recovery and the fact that uh, there will be relapses along the way. Talk about your journey in in living with, with mental illness and getting to the point of recovery. Well, um, I suffered a lot along the way, and some people don't like that word, but, you know, it, recovery is a beautiful thing, and we learn to live with our condition and not suffer as much. But early on, I did suffer. I suffered in quiet. And um, then in, I managed to find a therapist and get on medication eventually, Um, But I still had challenges later on in 2003, 2005, and 2011. I was hospitalized um, with some real serious fears that were just weighting me down. Um, And um, finding recovery all along the way. It's not like recovery, um, you know, I've always been attracted to art. That's been a part of my recovery the whole way. I've um, learned new skills from the uh, peers, and we're going to talk about that, but I've, I've learned new skills along the way that support my wellness all along. And each time I get ill or have an experience of, of unwellness, um, I recover faster because I have amassed so many skills. It's an important book, Falling to Pieces. Carol Cousins de Reyes, the author, is our guest on the program. And it's so important. You, you talk in the book about your life changed by the recovery model and the consumer movement. Talk about warehousing and the consumer movement because you've experienced both, and it wasn't until you got in the consumer part of that when, when you saw changes in your life. Right. Well, you know, a hospital, I've been in the hospital the longest period has been a month and I've been in four hospitals in one year and um, a hospital is not really a place to grow well people grow well in communities and being supported by neighbors and friends but also people name over and over peer support as being essential to the recovery and this is this mutuality where someone has been there and experienced what you've experienced and that commonality 
can pull you so much faster and you can share um, resources. So this consumer movement is the idea that we are sharing resources and information and wellness tools to pull each other out and connect with our communities. Talk about the importance of peer support. I mentioned what you do in supporting others, and they are there for you as well and have been through the years. Talk about the importance of that. As I read the book, Falling to Pieces, that's really a cornerstone of your recovery, isn't it? It is. And, you know, it's it's one thing to read about things. It's another thing to experience them. And when you can talk about it in a safe place, um, to another person that has experienced something similar, you create this sense of sanctuary that both of you can grow from because there are so many places where you can't talk about certain things and having that experience understood and not judged and to be safe is, is just an amazing place to grow from. What is it like for you to be able to take your experience, experiences and, and guide other people through, many of them probably going pretty close to what you were going through? That has to be very fulfilling on your part, that you had those experiences, but you're turning them into something positive by, by helping others. Well, that's where the mutuality comes from. You know, I'm supporting other people in finding wellness, and that process also supports my wellness you know it it gives um meaning and purpose to all those dark times and um so when i support others they're really supporting me also in the book you talk about uh, one of the great things about recovery is that individuals can be people and not illnesses and that's interesting because when you think about it, sometimes maybe we treat them as someone with an illness as opposed to just an individual. How important is that to see each of these people for who they really are, which is an individual? It's, it's easy to, um, you know, people like myself that live with mental health conditions, we get, you know, seen one way in a newspaper, we get talked over by relatives, we um, experience um, losing our civil rights when we go to hospitals, and there are so many um, ways that we are dehumanized in culture. So to see a person for their resiliency skills, for what makes them well, you know, the artist in the person it's so important to recognize the um whatever it is that gives that person spark for life to really recognize who we are as human beings and what gets us up in the morning and what's important to us just like you would another person um is is essential in the book, you talk a lot about the torment that you went through. You also talk about what you call the positive events that arose from it. In fact, you say you consider the experience the greatest uh, gift that God could have given you and not a disease of unlucky genetics. Talk about that because most people would look at this as sort of like a curse. This is not something good. You feel that in a way it was a gift. Talk about what you mean by that. Well, when I was first, home from the hospital I thought this was the worst thing that had ever happened to me um, I um, started painting and I um, painted a whole collection of art called Paris at Night and it was these gold backgrounds with black um, uh, scenes of Paris and you know I was really mourning my loss but I created a whole collection of art, and I was creating. And so from all this loss comes all this discovery and creation. And, you know, it may not be art for someone. For someone else, it may be peer support. For someone else, it may be writing. Um, for someone else, it may be just supporting their neighbor in the unique way that they know how, um, or maybe gardening. But you know, 
and I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, in, in talking about this as a gift and what you were able to do with this from a from a positive standpoint. Right. So I feel like there's something built from the dark the right. parts of my life. From that, um, I've gotten many gifts, like the ability to share with others um, in ways that I wouldn't be able to if I hadn't had those experiences. What an incredible gift. You know, at, at first you think, you know, what is God up to? And then you realize that um, that you're a unique person with something unique to offer the world. And um, it, it's just been an incredible journey of discovery and and, and um, everybody has their own unique gift. And with your gift, uh, you express that in the book, Falling to Pieces, Carol Cousins de Reyes, our guest on the program. Book's available at Amazon, link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. But doing this in so many other ways, including Mission Zero, we've got a few minutes left at the, at the end of the program, reaching out to help young people. Talk about the why you decided to develop that program and the success you're having with it. Well, um, my son has experienced emotional challenges that I let him talk about when he's presenting with me. Um, he's gone to D.C. and presented at conferences with me, but... We design a camp together every year for kids with emotional challenges. And it's just a fun experience to learn about social emotional skills. Um, and it's for kids with challenges with fear, anxiety, sadness, or anger. The book is Falling to Pieces, and that's P E A C E S. Our guest is Carol Cousins de Reyes. I'm going to spell that Carol C O R. Uh, C-A-R-O-L, and cousin C-O-U-S-S-O-N-S, De Reyes, D-E, and then R-E-Y-E-S, if you're going to look for it. Easiest uh, way to do it is to look for Folding to Pieces, the book, and you can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. What has this experience been like for you, writing the book, going across the country and talking about it, going into work every day and, and helping people? This has to be a very rewarding period of your life. Um, it is. It, it's it's very rewarding, and um, I feel at the same time very grateful for um, being able to be in my shoes and to um, learn and, and meet so many other people that are um, doing so many great things. It's a very important book. You'll find it at Amazon and the usual places, Falling to Pieces, P-E-A-C-E-S. Our guest, Carol Cousins de Reyes. You'll find information, of course, at our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and link on directly to Carol's book. Carol, a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you so much for being with us. Great to have you with us on the program today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Falling to pieces once again. Carol Cousins de Reyes. The book is at Amazon. You'll link on directly to get information on the book and Carol by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. <laughs> 